this is the second one I own a PLM header uh, the previous one I gave it to my friend I thought I will never go back to NA <laughs> but <laughs> it's more like a for the purpose of what I'm trying to do here or trying to show you guys uh, it gave me a motivation of try NA again just for the uh, just for kicks uh, it's hard uh, after boosted and everything and yeah um, well something fun I, I know I will have some fun with this Welcome to Sagit Net 2's channel, everyone. If you have not been subscribed on my channel, please do. And always hit that like button and your notification bell. Well, I just got done with this uh, valve cover. And as you can see, now I have two of these. Today's episode is about this uh, BLM headers. Uh, I thought I might give it a more like a cosmetic review share it to you guys and also some of the uh, materials that they use uh, performance wise that will be determined later on uh, this is the second one I own a PLM header uh, the previous one I gave it to my friend you saw it on my previous blog uh, the F20B that, that we swapped on his uh, CD5 Accord and that one I didn't do anything as far as the lower end but this one I will do uh, that's the reason why I, I thought about uh, share it to you guys before I mutilate this bad boy yeah cuz he can't go lower than the, than the old pan because I'm running low I know some of you guys will be interested of getting this one so this will be a good idea that way you know exactly what to expect uh, for some of you that uh, might be a little bit picky as far as the headers the cosmetic look and everything but me I have no problem because I'm going to chop this off anyway there's the part number and all that there and it comes with this uh, gasket uh, I guess uh, this is uh, hopefully this won't leak but you know what if I got I have another set of these that I can uh, stack them together this will sealed up and everything and also it comes with this the donut right here well as you can see it looks good and everything right cosmetic wise and I have shown you guys already before that it does hang down a little bit too low I think I already maxed out here yeah I could go up some more but I'm gonna try before I cut this off but I know that this thing it really does hang down low and as far as like the uh, slip joint I have no problem going in but of course I have to massage it a little bit but it goes in with no problem if you ever own one of these or if you uh, think about buying one you can always put some lubricant on there some WD-40 or some a little bit of oil that way it will slip on a little bit easier uh, this header comes in four pieces at uh, the top part and the mid section uh, this will be the second and this will be the third and this will be the fourth one this is the one that goes at the bottom and let me show you how it slipped through just go like that yeah with no hesitation whatsoever 
So as far as the uh, constructions of the slip joint, yeah, no problem. Everything looks good. It just right on it. And I found one flaw as far as cosmetic look. Right here. See that cut? But no biggie. I can always put a dab of a weld on there or something. But I'm hoping that some of the uh, other headers, it probably it doesn't have that. It's probably one of those uh, one in a million or something. Right there. A little cut right there. Let me remove it and I'm going to show you one item that uh, it's not a, a big deal, but some of you might be anal about it. Head flange thickness, it's about half an inch. Right there. And the material that they use, it's magnetized. It's made out of steel, not stainless steel. But no biggie, there's nothing wrong with using two dissimilar metals long it's not gonna affect the performance but the uh, one thing that I really noticed that it really bugs me in the beginning are those big holes the flange holes I have no idea what are they thinking I thought it will give me a problem as far as those ports not lining up with the cylinder head but they supplied the gasket when I tried it on Thank God the gasket is uh, it's just perfect as far as like the hole and everything. And it all lined up. Yeah, no problem with the gasket there. So I, I thought about trying this gasket onto the head flange. And I learned to find out that, yeah, they're all lined up. So my uh, fix, as far as those holes being too big, it's just when I mount this thing, I just let it hang by its own weight and everything should line up with no problem. Except for those too much gap on those holes right there in the bottom. Look how much it wobbles. compared to something like OEM head flange. That the holes is perfectly almost the same size, a little bit bigger than the, uh, than the mounting bolts itself. So this is our OEM uh, head flange that I cut off. But like I have shown you guys, it all lined up, everything lined up, as long as you let it hang by its own weight. But it's kind of, it's kind of questionable why they, <laughs> why, why they made it like this. Yeah. So for some of you guys that are uh, really picky on your headers and everything, something you might reconsider. But for the price, and I know it's going to work, yeah, I have no problem on this one. And we'll see, it, uh, see if this one will make any uh, horsepower. Uh, I say it's not bad.
and that's just about it and hopefully uh, you like this short episode and I'll see you guys back thanks for watching all right bye bye I'm seeing twins over here. <laughs>